know, I've got tangled cords. How on earth did that happen? There we go. Ah, there we are. All right, today's a very special day because my least favorite neighbor is finally leaving. Ah, finally, freedom. Signing on just to get rid of them. Okay. Ah, there we go. A Saturday stream, yeah. Good evening, Lingua. I just had to make sure that Chatter left, and he did. Thank goodness. I am finally free of that stupid mouse. <clears throat> I just finished playing Star Wars Old Republic with my friends, so... There's no news to speak of, that's right. Because the guy we didn't like is gone. <sighs> Sweet release. Hopefully I can get somebody better, you know? Like. Maybe I should go to an island and try to force it. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for the money. Oh! It's 9.54. Shit, I should stop everything what I'm doing. Yeah, I will scout villagers. But I have six minutes left. I'm gonna go... Check the, uh, the nook. Nook's corner. See if there's anything worth buying. And then I'll use up all these nook miles that I have and... Yes, yes, yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh. Yes, I would like a video camera. Okay, I already have a saxophone. No need for the white bench. Does this fan ever go away? God. It's been on sale there every day for the last week. Logo umbrella, red umbrella, blue tile, green painted. Uh, da, 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 da. That's a nice wall. Simple red, brown argyle, and archid brick. Sure. Okay. Um, this is the first time I've been. I've played Animal Crossing today, so we'll just uh, go through the motions real quick, talk to everybody, do the maintenance, and then then Villager Scout. Someone's bound to be around. Oh, that's right, KK is here! Oh, shoot. Okay. So much to do, so much to see, so what's wrong with taking the back street? Talk to Peck. Oh, I've been well. I gotta check to see my song list, and then I'll ask KK to play something I don't have. Just gotta go full speed. Maintenance and KK are good. Yes. Beach towel. I better wash that first. Okay. We're gonna wait.
withdraw. Okay. Oh, I want to get to the, um, I want to get to the islanding, because I haven't done that in a really long time. But I will try to calm down. Six ball tea? Three ball. Ah, fuck off. I want the, I want the six ball tea. So bad. All right, fine. Another day, another day I'll get that six ball. Another day. Check and verify what I don't have. Uh, one of my favorite pro wrestlers from when I was a kid uh, had a wrestling outfit that featured the six ball. It was a very awesome shade of green. And I just, I really like it in the fact that this game offers shirts based off of the pool ball numbers and waiting for that six ball to show up. Yeah, I hear that time ending, time going by. Okay. The wrestler in question was Scott Hall, formerly known as Razor Ramon, the original bad guy. A peach chair. Oh. Yeah, I already have that. <coughs> but, alright. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Okay. Ah, just hang on. Just I need to I need to take this in for a minute. See this glorious spot. Chatter is not here. He's gone. That smug little turd is gone. Life is good. Okay, next thing I wanted to do is uh, figure out which KK song I don't have. Hmm? Oh, okay. Oh, that's right, I have the Wandering from last time. Okay. From yesterday. I most definitely do if I took them out of the box. Okay. Now let's see. List of KK songs, Animal Crossing, New Horizons. Start from the top. Agent KK. Oh wait, this isn't in order. I need one that's in order. Here we go. Agent KK. Aloha KK I don't have. Although I think I have all the unique songs that he doesn't... Marine Song 2001? The hell? Pretty sure I don't have that. Yeah. Okay, that's a strange name. I want that. Marine Song 2001. That was from the original Animal Forest.
Yes. I want that. Give me that one song. Let's enjoy some credits, eh? This song is based on the tune that Captain sings in the original version of Animal Crossing Animal Forest. Number 2001 in the song's title alludes to the year that it was released. Oh, thank you. Snapping. A lot of practice. A boot of the show. Hell yeah. There it is. <clears throat> 2001. I don't snap my fingers really often in, in life in general, so I guess that would be the first time you were aware that I did snapping my fingers. On that level, anyway. All part of being a band kid. All that percussion that I definitely didn't play because I played a saxophone. All about that meter. All about that meter, dear guy. Trot sounding like a bonanza. Damn right, band kids are cool kids. I had the most interesting talk with a 
a friend a while back about band kids versus like the other groups and uh the oh well missed whatever that was what i learned well at least from this person's perspective who was also a fellow band uh fellow band student was that other people in other groups like say the popular group or smart kids and whatnot their perspective because um, she talked to somebody who was a member of a popular group she said uh, that the person from that group told her that back in high school they thought we were stuck up and unapproachable which I found very interesting because we always felt that way about them and it's uh interesting you know that tribalism from school where, you know, we just stayed in our groups of common interests for whatever reason. The arts, uh, extracurricular activities, um, or in their case, whatever made them popular. Usually, uh, rich, usually rich parents. Rich or well-off parents is usually what did it. Yeah, school tribes are weird. Okay, there's two people I still haven't spoken to. to myself, you know, if uh, if it would have been possible to get along with folks from those different groups, and I think the honestly, you know, back then the answer would have been no, just just because of that weird tribalism, you know, like you think about like your perceptions of people that were not in your circle of friends that were not in those groups that you were in because I mean once 10th grade hit for me I stuck exclusively to groups of the arts and very incredibly rarely did anybody from those like more popular groups ever do art stuff I was never really clear on what they did, because I also never asked. So that's three fossils. Some of the cool kids were into sports, and I think, like, for them, I mean, I guess that's what they did. I remember some of them being in uh, football and basketball, volleyball, track, and whatnot, and I think only one of them actually joined, or was consistent in things like the arts, like... Band and choir, I think. Am I gonna hit a hundred thousand nook miles? I think I will. Yep. I 
you know, I think about the like other folks that I grew up with and how, um, you know, there's a negative per that negative perception. Like some people just uh, continue to have negative perceptions of folks that they met in high school and never checked in with them to see how they were doing or anything. Although, to be fair, some of that is also a two-way street. I think so. I think you know some of that is more on the individual. Like, if you've got anger issues about the way other people did you wrong, then it would be best to see a therapist and get that anger um, addressed with in a addressed in a healthy way. You know, so it's perfectly okay to be angry about, uh, you know, to feel angry and to be, you know, to be mad at people doing you wrong, but you also have to, you know, move on from it. You have to be able to accept it and don't, don't let the past haunt you like that. Exactly, yeah. Holding on to hanger, anger hurts the holder the most. Because those people, uh, it's kind of like if you remember the most, if you remember something incredibly embarrassing that happened to you, like me and my diaphragm story from third grade. I guarantee you nobody th uh, that I was in third grade with would would remember that. They don't care. Because who would? They're like, wow, remember that time that thing happened? Like, the closest thing I have to that is, uh, is not even embarrassing. It was just, like, unfortunate. There was a first grade, we were getting, it was like the end of the day, and the buses had arrived to come take us home, and right in front of the door, my, one of my, um, one of my classmates got sick, and made this, I swear to god, like, in diameter, a three foot diameter puddle uh, of essentially, you know, as what as Walt Disney calls it, a protein spill <laughs> in front of the door leading out. And me, I'm someone that's, you know, I, I find that stuff kind of revolting. And it does uh, make me a little queasy, just a little bit, just talking about it and thinking about it. Better than I used to be at it, but more importantly, in that moment, um, you know, I remember that, and I remember jumping over the puddle so I could get to the bus and not think about what I had just seen so that it would make me sick and start to gag. But, uh, I don't remember who that was. I have an idea, but I don't remember who that was. And so, you know, to that effect, that was probably pretty embarrassing for that person. They probably still remember it, but, you know, hopefully they're not letting it bother them, because I don't know who that was. I'd have to literally consult people that I grew up with and ask them if they remember. And if it was, you know, somebody that I had asked, they'd be like, you remember that? And I'd, I'd be, you know, in, at this day and age, I would be like, yeah, and I feel, I feel awful that that happened to you, you know? Like, uh, you know, to be remorseful over it, as opposed to, as opposed to, haha, you got sick, you know, like, like me with the whole diaphragm thing, like, haha, you tried to be funny, and you weren't funny. Oh, I, shoot, I wanted to come in here to acquire a net, because I'm pretty sure I have spares. Shoo it. Okay. There we go. Yeah, there's a friend of mine who still, uh, who still holds that, who still holds a bit of that anger, and if he were watching right now, because I know he's not, because I think he's only vaguely aware that I have a Twitch channel, 
Uh, but... Um... I would absolutely recommend him to meet with a therapist and, you know, find positive way, find positive outlets for that anger. Because it's okay to be angry about being done wrong, but, you know, better yourself. Because you deserve it, you know? Like, you deserve to be happy on your own terms. This ain't the world of Star Wars. You can't put that anger to good use in becoming a Sith and destroying everything. Okay. That's all the fossils I was able to find, so... Yes, literally everyone can benefit from good therapy. You know, like, we have the stigma in this in the world where if you are aware that you have faults and you try to better yourself, people somehow think that's a weakness, that you should already be perfect, and that's inherently wrong. Like, you should always be willing to improve yourself, always be ready, always be flexible and open to bettering yourself, and that's a sign of strength that is, uh, unfortunately, just not celebrated. It's almost as if, like, we live in a culture that thrives on celebrating perfection or some mo or celebrating success, ignoring everything you had to do to get there. Another day, another denial from Blathers. <clears throat> Uh, I tell you, this guy, this guy. I still have two people I need to talk two neighbors I need to talk to. Norma's not at home. There's Canberra. There's Camo Frog. There's Shot. Miranda's home. Someone's in Miranda's house. Gotta talk to Bubbles and I gotta talk to Norma. Nope. Well, might as well not be rude. You harvested all the fruit. I could go for peach juice. You know, that fruit was sitting there for how many months? You could have had peach juice that whole time. But your lazy ass wouldn't harvest them. Congratulations. Um, could Norma be... Hanging out on the edge of the maze? I have to decide if I'm gonna keep this maze or not. It's a nice, uh... It was a nice experiment. But I honestly don't know if I'm going to do this again. <laughs> Although I might ask some folks to... Who I know are still relatively new to Animal Crossing to give it a try. in here, which is a good sign, but although if I get rid of this maze, then all those flowers will go away. Hmm. Okay, 
so no one's there. Is anyone hiding up here? No. I guess they could be in the museum. Although if I don't talk to them, it's not the end of the world. Oh, there's the last fossil. Hiding behind there. That is a that is a big butterfly. Is it? No, I think it's just an emperor. Yeah, just an emperor. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Wait a minute, what is Camel Frog doing? It really weird look. <laughs> Felt like coming out and soaking it in. Seemed as good a spot as any, Ten Hut. Okay, maybe not. Norma's not there. She has to be in the museum. She's not in the soccer field. She's not in the park. Good news. <clears throat> Hype me up with that surprise. What a jerk. Okay, well, I'm going to check the museum real quick. I want to believe somebody, at least one of those two neighbors are here. gotta be, right? I mean, like, historically, yeah! There you are, Bubbles. What a coinky dink The butterflies keep staring at me like they recognize my face. This must be what it's like to be famous. Okay. You tell yourself that. <sighs> okay, that's one. Norma must be around here, too. you that I'm here and here too. Being in here is like meditating while I'm surrounded by nature. Woohoo, it's so peaceful. Very good, very good. Okay, well. That takes care of maintenance and done in 35 minutes. So, moving on. title here. The search for a new neighbor. <clears throat> Let's make sure I've emptied out what I don't need. Okay. 
get a Nook Miles Island ticket. Oh, with it. Let's get a couple. I will try three times. Would you like another? Talk to her in a while. Uh, let's talk island evals. Four stars. Oh shit. We're regular at many folks' list of top ten places they'd like to visit. Let me read an excerpt from the feedback I gathered. This is a good island. Filled with good feet that know the value of a good rug. Visitations are pleasant. Well, there you have it. General Sim is that this island lacks appealing scenery. Decorate the entire island head to toe or stream to sea. Huh. Okay. I can do that. Dear Nintendo, please let players buy multiple no miles of tickets at a time. Yes! Dear Nintendo, please do the one or two things that would actually improve quality of life for people playing this game. <laughs> and all of your games, because there's always one or two of these goddamn things that get in the way. Because <clears throat> that would be super. <sighs> Alright. I'm ready. <laughs> Catch some bees, chop some trees. It certainly has been a while. What kind of island am I working with? <clears throat> hmm. standard one, honestly. Well, let me see if anyone's here. <gasps> An octopus is here. Wait. I need the vaulting pole, don't I? Oh, wait, no, I don't. Oh my god. You're fascinating. Octavian. Don't believe we met. Name's Octavian. Fancy meeting you here, uh, whatever here is. I'm a mite fuzzy on that part, sucker. You're Grizzly, right? From Rodokino? You're a long way from home, or at least I think you are. Well, we all got our reasons for being where we are, I reckon. Just need a puzzle on mine. It's good to step away and look at things from a distance sometimes. Like, back and wondering if maybe it's time for me to some, make some kind of change, shake stuff up. 
Are you really asking me to move to Rodokino? That's quite an invite. I almost don't know what to say, which is usually a problem for me. But you like it there, right? Everyone as neighborly as you? <laughs> yeah, I'm just fun with you. Of course you love your home island. Why else would you be inviting me? So if I contact this Tim Nook, Tom Nookfiller, he'll help me with all the paperwork? I'm not good with that nonsense. Reckon I ought to start packing up my stuff just as soon as I get back home from here, sucker. Oh, guess I won't be calling that place home much longer, will I? Alright, cool. Got an octopus neighbor. You love your octopus neighbor, he's the best. Alright, well... Well, we'll see. He doesn't have a smug attitude. He seems very angry. <laughs> Wearing a gold t-shirt. I like him already. Well, this has been a productive visit. I'm not sure what kind of island this is. Shaker bottle. Okay. Oh, I uh, I misjudged that one. That's all right. Some else will show up, I'm sure. If you don't, you lose both. Probably an olive flounder. Oh, good. At least a C plus. Everybody's favorite fish. Where's the owl flounder? Thank you. 
Alright, well, I think I accomplished what I set out to do. like the fuzz this thing I have caught it before well I'm gonna try catching a couple more fish and then I think honestly I'll head back oh shame on you fish Oh, that's a big one. A what? An Arapaima? What the f... I did not have that one. <laughs> All right. Arapaino. <laughs> they wanted to say hell if I know. Oh, snapping turtle. Guess I'm done fishing. Yes, thank you. Ten thousand bells, those are worth. Okay, I'll consider this a win. November Oscar Whisker. Let's take this new acquisition to the museum and <clears throat> get it registered. Tiny ass Walmart bag. Pack snacks and make tracks. The stately Arapaima is quite large. Indeed, it is among the largest freshwater fish there are. Furthermore, these fascinating fish make quite the family unit. That is to say, male Arapaima protect their young by holding them gently in their mouths. Meanwhile, female Arapaima swim circles around these full mouthed fathers, fending off predators. So it goes to show that cold blooded creatures can be heartwarming too. Fascinating stuff indeed. Your favorite Wilbur phrase is time to pack snacks and make tracks. That's a good phrase. I like that. Okay, let's say we do a chapter of Dark Side. I feel like I could do one chapter. And then I need to go do something else, because I've been gaming for gamed a lot today.
Or actually, no, no, actually, uh, I don't want to do dark side. I want to do something else. I have something better in mind. Sorry to hype up dark side detective. But uh, give me just a sec. Got to close the window. Now bear with me, I'm going to cut the stream, and then I'm going to relaunch it. I have to do this for legal reasons.